guys, it's Alicia here with My Work Basket. Today I'm going to show you how to do a pocket card like I did on my recent Winter Wonderland card. It's made from a single sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And all you need is something to cut with and something to score with. So it can be scissors and a ruler and a bone folder. It can be a cutting scoring board. Whatever you use to cut and fold, that's what you need. You also need a single sheet of 12 by 12 paper and you will need a little bit of glue. Some people choose not to glue them, but I like to do a little bit of glue on mine. So you're gonna start with your 12 inch sheet of paper. And let me tell you too, it is winter. My lighting is terrible, so forgive. There's a lot of shadows. There's no good time of day for where my house is for me to have really good light in the winter. But I didn't want to put off videoing this for you until I can, you know, really set up a whole lighting thing because it would never happen. So forgive the bad lighting, winter. What are we going to do, you know? So what you're going to do for your 12 by 12 paper is you're going to do one score mark, fold it, cutting and folding it, scoring it in half at the six inch mark. Then you're going to rotate it and you're going to do two folds at the eight inch mark and the four inch mark. You do want to use something that's a little bit more of a thick. You want to use more of a cardstock than a regular paper just because the scoring will tear a lot of times with the folding you need to do and you want to be able to put stuff in your pockets so once you fold it on all your things this is what you get ignore that weird hair okay each one of these flaps is your pocket now i personally like to trim along these because that just makes it a little bit less bulky when you fold it here. See how this gets really like wumpy out here? By just trimming these a little bit on each side, that smooths that out. So you can do that with a pa with a cutting board or you can do that with a pair of scissors. And I just cut the tiniest bit on each side of that fold. There's kids playing outside in my neighborhood. No one is dying. I don't know if you can hear that screaming or not, but I assure you everyone is well. See, so that just creates a little bit less bulk there so that then when you fold it, see how much less misshapen it is? I messed up one of my scores. <laughs> So this particular score, for some reason, the paper folded like it was scored, but it's just the tiniest bit above where my score mark is. Don't know why it did that to me, but I'm going to just go with it. Then what you're going to want to do is trim these flaps. And you can trim them however you want to trim them. I usually just use my paper trimmer. Some people fold them when they make this. I usually just kind of make it up. So I'm just... This one is much different than that one. Let's turn that up a bit. All right, let's see. I'm having some issues. Usually I just kind of line it up. So I'll line it up with like the one and just like go with it. I don't know how I'm getting such a different thing here. Usually I just kind of wing it. That's just what I do. You can also use scissors, however you like to shape it and fold it. So that's what creates that pocket. And you can just do that. Since I had such an issue, I'm going to trace a line on mine. Okay. 
and then I know to just cut along the line. I personally absolutely love doing pocket cards because it really takes a card and turns it into a whole gift. You stuff that pocket with tea bags, letters, stickers, embellishments, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And you really end up with a full blown gift instead of just a card. So that is how it goes. And then I usually at a minimum glue this piece. You can also glue here. get a glue for you. So I'm going to glue each of my flaps a tiny bit on this side. You really can think about where you want the security of glue and glue there. So you might like a lot of places where you can really tuck things. You might want very minimal spaces to tuck things. My glue is stuck. Got a got a glue blob. There we go. I try to do very minimal gluing because then you just have a little bit more freedom in what you can tuck inside. You have a bit more give in how much it can hold and and today I'm just using this like random Sobo glue but you can use whatever you use for your general crafts I do a lot of Sobo and then I also do um Barely Arts glue see on this one I didn't glue that little flap I especially love to make these pockets on anything with double-sided paper. It just adds that extra element of fun and showiness. Let's hold this for a minute. And then that's, that's it. So you decorate this front. And you can decorate the inside. You can decorate the back. And then you just put all kinds of gifts. So you can have here, you have here. My glue popped up because it's not dry that. And you just tuck in all kinds of gifts and letters and goodies and just have fun with it. So that's how I make this style of pocket card. Very easy. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. I'd love to see your finished projects. So again, thank you for watching. I hope this inspires you. Feel free to comment. You can also check out my website at myworkbasket.com if that you're not already there watching this video. And I share all kinds of tutorials and things for you. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.